I'm Don Minday. I grew up in the U.S. and I've lived and worked in France for over 40 years. I am a teacher and department head at Rennes School of Business. I manage a team of 15 professors from different nationalities. And uh, I'm French and American, Franco-American. I teach several subjects, organizational behavior, managing cultural diversity, corporate social responsibility, and international human resource management, people-related topics. Well, generally speaking, engineers and people that work with technology are good with machines and technology, and they need to learn to work with people because companies, whether they're database companies or other companies, get things done through people. So it's important to understand people-related processes and organizations. And that's what I came here to teach. Our school, uh, it's a business school. We're accredited by the um, uh, EQUIS, which is a European body, the AACSB, which is an American accreditation organization for business schools, and the AMBA, which is British. So we have the three main accreditations, which is a sign of quality. I would say a strong point of our school is the fact that we have about 3,000 students on our campus. Over half of them are non-French. It's very international. Our faculty, we have 80 permanent faculty members, and 90% of them are non-French. Just to give you an example, in my department, we have a Brazilian, we have two British professors, a German, um, an Algerian, and two Italians, and me, a Franco-American. Rennes, France is a city of 300,000 people in western France. Uh, the temperature is moderate. It's cold now, but it doesn't get neither too hot nor cold. It's uh, easy to get around. It's the smallest city in the world with a subway. Uh, good mass transit system. It's, uh, there's a lot of things to do, a lot of cultural activities, and our students generally enjoy the city a lot. We're an hour and a half by high-speed train from Paris and 60 minutes uh, by train from the coast. I would say a, an average um, studio apartment costs between around 400 euros a month. That's about uh, 32,000 rupees, I think. I think for the um, international experience, I think here you get a good grounding in uh, technology and um, related to data and business analytics, and we'll teach you the business sides of problems because uh, technology is great, but you have to sell it and market it as well, and you have to know how to work through people to do it. So that's uh, why they should come to our school to get the complimentary business skill training. The business opportunities? Well, for uh, data and business analytics, I think there are opportunities. Um, if you come as a student to our school, you can look for an internship in a French company. It helps if you speak French, but it's not an absolute requirement because uh, most high-tech companies, uh, people speak English. Oh, it's been great. Uh, the people here have been very friendly and helpful and uh, the facilities are excellent and uh, nothing to complain about. I have thoroughly enjoyed it and I hope I can come back. I think if you haven't lived outside of India, there might be some culture shock, but uh, it's always a great experience to live abroad. It uh, broadens your horizon, teaches you to leave your comfort zone, um, helps you to adapt to people that are not like you, and, and you can learn the international management reflex, which is, it's not wrong, it's just different. 